Carlos Jimenez on the efforts to control the virus. Uh, Mayor, thanks for joining us. Are, are you comfortable with the limited uh, amount of space? I know that these mosquitoes only travel a few hundred yards over a lifetime, but do you think uh, there should be more urgency and maybe even a greater uh, swath of land covered on this? Well, we're, uh, we're covering a one square mile area, uh, and uh, I just uh, gave approval to do 10 square miles of uh, adulticide spraying, aerial spraying, and, and two square miles of uh, larvicide spraying in the, next, uh, in the next couple of days, and we'll repeat that four times. But uh, the, um, the health department, uh, the state of Florida health department, uh, has been testing people around the area. The good news is uh, last, uh, yesterday's batch of tests, the uh, urine tests, came back negative. So uh, we are continuing to focus in on Wynwood. Wynwood is about a one square mile area of 2,400 square miles here in Miami-Dade County. And so uh, we hope that that's where it, uh, it stays and we can eradicate it pretty quickly. But uh, we got to continue our guard up and we're giving the same message to all of our, our residents. And basically is if you're going outside, especially during the early morning and early evening hours when these mosquitoes are active, to wear long clothing, and, uh, and use some, uh, some mosquito repellent, that way they don't bite you. And then when you don't get bit, you're not gonna spread the disease or you're not gonna catch the disease. And so, for the most part, most areas of, uh, you know, the areas where most of our tourists go in Miami-Dade County are, are safe. The beach is, uh, is uh, a good ways away. It has prevailing uh, breezes that keeps these mosquitoes away. So the, our big tourist destinations are actually uh, fairly safe. And again, the last thing is Zika really only affects a small percentage of uh, people. Most people that, that actually get bit and have the disease or catch the virus don't even know they had it. Well, and to, to a degree, though, that's also one of the big problems with it as well. I mean, we've seen right. uh, exponential spread uh, of Zika in Puerto Rico. Uh, and, and of course, I, I know that the measures that you guys are taking are probably have been swifter and more determined. But it, it, do, do you know how, how this even happened in this particular neighborhood and how do we make sure we can prevent it from happening again? Well, you know, uh, in this particular neighborhood, a lot of the people that live in and around that neighborhood actually uh, were born somewhere else. There's a lot. There's a big uh, Puerto Rican population there. Uh, there's Brazilians, Argentinians, South Americans, where this disease is prevalent. And we know that a lot of our residents travel back and forth to their homeland, back and forth back there, and then they come back to Miami. And I'm sure that some of them picked up, you know, Zika on the way, on the way, you know, while they were there, and then they have it here. So right. the reason that we have so many cases. Uh, of travel-related Zika in, in Miami is that we have 60% of the people in Miami-Dade were born somewhere else, and a lot of them travel back and forth between their native uh, countries uh, and Miami. So that's how, how it happened. Then we think that well, somebody, you know, must have, that must have gotten bitten and then uh, spread it around for a couple other people. I think we had about 12 people that were actually determined to be, uh, uh, the disease was actually born the, here the, in Miami-Dade. But there's also the issue with, with the mosquitoes, and you talked about this spring, but reports I'm seeing now is that there are signs that this, uh, this one particular species of mosquito may be building up an immune system to the sprays that we're using right now. You know, yesterday I want to share this with you because we had a biotech CEO you know, but on. I, I, uh, before, you, before, you, before you go on that, I think that uh, I don't believe that that is uh, entirely accurate. The, 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 the chemicals and the sprays that we're using uh, have deemed to be uh, effective. Uh, but again, we're also asking our residents to uh, be part of the solution, which is that they see standing water go ahead and drain it, cover it, because that's the breeding ground. Sure. And so we, we've had this aggressive uh, campaign of educate, ed educating our residents here of what they need to do to reduce the, the mosquito population. Right. We've been aggressively going out in the community and eradicating as much of the mosquitoes as, as we can. But they're a hardy little species they and are. they're hard to, to get to. You know, mosquitoes have been around for millions of years, okay, and there's a reason for that. Is there, they're pretty adaptive, and so we've got to be very creative well, in Mayor, how we're going to get rid of them. Mayor, good luck to you. Uh, we appreciate it, and thanks, thanks. for taking the time out. Uh,